Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of EVE University, and this is episode 43 of How to Survive EVE Online. We're going to get started with the ninth step of the advanced military chain, so let's request the mission from the agent. And she wants us to use a stasis web fire on a pirate. Uh, you don't have to shoot the pirate. As a matter of fact, I don't think that would be a good idea. I'm going to use my Tristan for this, just because I'm not sure how much shooting at me is going to be involved. And she is going to give you a unit of civilian stasis web of fire. Uh, at this point, you should already have the propulsion jamming skill. I think a real stasis web of fire should work. Let me see what happens if I try to use a real one. Alright. Oh, you must be kidding. Alright, you know what? There's no shooting involved. I'm gonna clear I'm gonna take those offline, bring the stasis whip of fire online. Alright. Let's click accept. I don't need the stasis web of fire. I'm gonna close and undock. Right-click in empty space, Agent Missions, Glue, Encounter, Warp to Location. Warp Drive active. Again, I don't remember how much shooting at me is going to be involved, so I decided to go with the slightly tougher Tristan frigate than the Atron. Though the Atron should work just as well. And this is just like the other mission, where you were using a civilian warp disruptor. Left click, approach, let's hit the afterburner. And not in targeting range. You gotta be within 27 and a half kilometers. But at 680 meters per second, that shouldn't take too long. I'm going to double cl Aha! He's target locked me. I'm going to target lock him. Stasis webifiers work out to about 10 kilometers normally, unless you use one of the more ex really expensive fancy versions, but usually stasis webifiers work out to 10 kilometers. You can either option F3 or Alt F3, or just click on the module to activate the web of fire. All right, we are done. We can shut down our mid-slot modules. And let's hit dock. Now that pirate, I think I may have skipped sticking around to see Concord ships show up and blast them to smithereens themselves. Uh, I don't think that pirate ship will still be there. Those were real asteroids back there, so if you want to go mine them, grab your Navitas frigate and warp back out to the mission. Don't turn in the mission yet. Mission I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just going to turn in the mission. Docking request accepted. And before I forget, I'm going to take off the stasis web of fire and free up some CPU space so that I can bring my missiles back online. And... Where's my cap recharger? 
There it is. If I couldn't remember it where I left it, I can type in recharger right here in this text field. And that allows me to find it. Click the X here to clear the search field and show me everything again. Alright. Talk to the agent. Turn in the mission. She rewards you with a destroyer's skill book. Uh, she's going to grant you a Catalyst class Galente Destroyer, so it's going to be very important that you train this up to level 1. It's not necessary, you're going to be fighting three frigates, but there are three frigates who can warp scramble you. Your Tristan should be able to handle it just fine, but I'd like to show you the Destroyer. So, uh, I've started training Destroyers level 1. And just for the fun of it, I will put Destroyers level 2 sometime after Electronics 4. And click Apply. In the meantime, thank you for watching.